What is up, everybody? Brett here with InfoSmercial, and today we're going to be exploring one of my favorite topics, 3D printing. What we're going to be doing is assembling a rather large 3D print from a collection of smaller printed pieces, like what you'd find coming off of any, you know, run-of-the-mill consumer-grade 3D printer. So, let's dive into making a big 3D print. Bum. So we're going to be assembling a large 3D print and we have a few of the pieces right here. There's about 15 or 16 of them in total. So the piece is, it's rather big. Uh, let's go over a few things that we're going to need. For starters, single-sided uh, scotch tape. This stuff, cheap and easy. Of course, super glue. I mean, that's sort of the point. And we're gonna be using this for assembling a 3D print. This is sort of the key ingredient in order to make our, our large print very strong and super durable. And uh, we'll go over why and how we're gonna use this in just a little bit. So for now, let's head over to our workstation and get ready to assemble this bad boy. So we have our materials right here and our printed pieces right here. I have two different super glues. One is a gel and another is a liquid. This part is really easy. You just need to lay glue down on the seams and stick them together and voila. So this is where things get sort of fun. I've heard that if you mix uh, baking soda with super glue, it can yield a really strong bond. But what exactly is going on when you mix the two together? Now I've brought along my personal smart assistant, Isaac here, and he's gonna help us answer that question. Hey Isaac. Hi Brett. Answering your question. Mixing sodium bicarbonate into a cyanoacrylate will begin an exothermic chemical reaction in which a rapidly accelerated polymerization of the cyanoacrylate occurs. Okay, that's um, a rather <laughs> scientific explanation. But what that means is when you mix the two together, it's going to heat up quite a bit and the glue is going to cure really fast. So let's try it out. We're going to start with the inside right here. We're going to grab some baking soda, sprinkle it along the seam and seal that off with some super glue. Now we're going to move on to the front and essentially do the same thing along this seam right here that runs up the middle. Um, I think this time we're just going to try experimenting with uh, using the liquid glue first and then sprinkling baking soda on top of it. it might work better I don't don't really know yet so and if you do happen to know of course let me know in the comments section down below I'd love to hear your thoughts on this stuff you may know more than I do that'd be great so we're just gonna go over the crack with the liquid glue we are going to sprinkle the baking soda on top of the part Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And that's it. So one other reason you might want to do this is to finish your projects really fast and get on with your day. Oh no. Come on, dude. My boss, Dr. Smershal, he's gonna um, he's gonna give you guys some tips on, on being safe and everything. Always wear safety gloves. Work in a well-ventilated area and wear a respirator. But most importantly, don't be an idiot like Brett. We're mm -hmm. probably gonna fire him soon. Jeez, thanks, Agent Smith. Back to work. All right, fine then. So we're going to move things a little bit faster here and finish out the rest of the helmet. Should be quite a bit of fun. Hey, Isaac, play some music. You asked for it. <laughs> what is this? Isaac, who listens to this? You. Oh, right now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Isaac, why don't you try playing something that people might actually like? No. Come on. Pff, fine, whatever. Jeez, the worst ever. So, let's go.
So this is a great place to take a quick break and share with you my tip on using tape alongside baking soda and super glue to fill in gaps inside of a print and make your part very, very strong. So what you'll do is take a piece of your tape here, you will seal off one side of the gap, flip the part over to the exposed seam, fill in the gap using baking soda. We'll simply apply super glue on top of the baking soda and we'll move on to the other side. At this point, we'll simply remove the tape and you can just lay down super glue on this side of the seam. One last tip before we finish this thing off. If you're having trouble getting pieces aligned, particularly long sections, which happens quite a bit, you can apply some super glue to one small section on one end, snap on the other part, and let that cure. Once it's cured, the bond is strong enough where you can sort of wiggle the parts around and get them aligned properly on the other end. And then there, you'll just seal it again using the same method. So there we have it. We started with a bunch of tiny pieces and ended up with this large Death Trooper helmet. And I gotta say, I think this thing is looking pretty badass. Give the video a big old thumbs up down below if you think the same thing. But um, it's not quite done yet. We can still see all the places that we had to glue this together. We can still see some glue. We can feel some of the bumps and ridges that's left over from the printing process itself. So stay tuned because in an upcoming video, we're gonna take a look at how we can turn a rough 3D print like this into a 3D print that has more fit and finish, like these Captain Phasma helmets that are hanging on the wall right here. If you wanna check it out too, check out our first video where we plated that thing in metal. It's pretty neat. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the button down below, because other than 3D printing, we're gonna be exploring all sorts of really cool technology. We're gonna learn some fun stuff, we're gonna review things, we're gonna break stuff, and we're just gonna have a fun old time here, and you don't wanna miss it. So, until next time, everybody.